But Nehemiah realized that God will bless his people only if they obeyed him. And as he said in one of his prayers in the book of Nehemiah, he says, Lord God of heaven, you are great and fearsome. And you are faithful to keep your promises to everyone who loves and obey your commandments. Wow. Welcome to Inspirational Moments with AOOY. And my name is Ikea Odra Obeyagwa. If you're coming here for the first time, I make faith based content on life and living it. First lesson we can learn from Nehemiah is that Nehemiah made a bold request. When the king offered to help him, he quickly prayed to the Lord for guidance and then asked the king for help. We can't help but admire his boldness. A few minutes before then, he was fearing for his life. Now he boldly asked the king to give him letters ensuring his safe travel as well as timber to rebuild Jerusalem's gate and the city wall. Not only did the king give him everything he wanted, but the king made him governor of Judah. Sometimes we are afraid to ask other people to support God's way for the fear of being turned down or disappointed. But if God is leading us, we can act boldly and leave the results up to him to work on those people's hearts after we've asked for the help. Another thing we can learn from Nehemiah is that he made his past wrongs right. When we see any of our past sins still causing us trouble, we should do just as he did. He faced the problem head on, making specific plans to correct the problem immediately. Nehemiah also encouraged those involved to go on a public record stating that they had decided to change their ways. This promise was made before the people and before God with serious consequences for those who did not follow through the words they had achieved. With making your past wrongs right, it's helpful to make your new commitment known to someone you trust. Encourage this person to check on you to see how well you are keeping up with your promises to change. Also learn that we need to keep up our guard. After experiencing great accomplishment, it is tempting to let down your guard easily. That is something that happens that we should not allow it to. Now, may I realize that the wall was strong, but it was useless. But if the city, city gates were left open to attackers, then they would be in trouble. So he set guards in place with clear instructions designed to prevent any enemy from having easy access to get in. Similarly, if we allow the gate of our lives such as our eyes, our ears, and our thoughts, to remain unguided, then we are inviting the enemy, which is Satan, to come in. We must keep up our guard, especially after our time of victory. Sometimes it is difficult to love God and establish habits of prayer and Bible study. But Nehemiah, however, illustrates the importance of life committed to God and spiritual excellence. As we end the video today, ask yourself, what opposition would you face if you decide to become a more disciplined Christian? What attitudes and practices would you need to develop to become a more committed believer. Thank you very much for watching today's video. And if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like, and share our video. Do have a blessed week.